From Fox 5 News, this is Good Day New York. You recognize this music? It is a theme from an old-time cop show called Kojak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lieutenant yeah. Kojak, he was bald. He chased after bad guys. He investigated crimes. He yelled at his peers, by the way. Anyway, uh, we all know and love police drama, right? Right, right? Absolutely. And we all know and love cops. Hopefully, you know what? Sometimes we see them performing their job, and uh, they're chasing people. Sometimes they deliver bad news to you. Being a cop is a tough job and is a challenge from the PR standpoint. A lot of folks don't know that there's something called the Police Athletic League. And uh, apart from law enforcement, Rosetta, it's basically a great big children's program. They work with uh, thousands of people in our community. Look at this, cops, and you know what that is? Face painting. I know, they do that. They do arts and crafts, but they also help them with academics and athletics, and they teach them about the juvenile system so uh, it's a great organization uh, tomorrow night uh, the PAL the Police Athletic League they have a major benefit let's meet uh, some of the honorees and some of the people who make it happen we have with us former police commissioner Bob McGuire he served under Mayor Koch the late great Mayor Koch and also John Osborne he is the CEO of BBDO New York a big-time advertising uh, agency welcome to Good Day New York thanks Greg Thank so you. Mr. McGuire nice to see you by Thank the you. way Thank um, you. Are you still very involved with the Police Athletic League? Well, I've been on the board for 38 years. I think you are. And uh, <laughs> now I was the president before John, and now I'm the vice chairman, and uh, John has done a spectacular job. What does the Police Athletic League mean to the community of New York City? For me, it's the connection between cops and kids. It's helping kids achieve their dreams, and, uh, and uh, whether that's in education or sports. Um, but most importantly for me, particularly given the tensions in the country today um, with the law enforcement community, I think it's incredibly important that we have kids and cops seeing each other as human beings. Yeah, because, John, if you look at the headlines, it's tough, and it's a fraught relationship, but it doesn't have to be, and PAL has been doing it differently for a long time. They certainly have. We serve about 35,000 kids throughout the year. We uh, work with the police officers of New York City to cordon off streets during the summer to provide a safe haven, uh, summer camps, after school programs, you know, all designed to keep kids safe, but also teach them life's lessons. So tomorrow night you two are going to be honored, huh? We are. Congratulations. Through some foul up in voting or something. <laughs> Somehow we, we... People have very low standards. No, apparently. stop that. That's not true. Is it a sold out event? Can you still support? You yes, definitely yes. Can. Yes, it's, it's, it's uh, been very well attended, very well supported. Uh, fortunately for us, Greg Kelly is going to MC it. What? So, um... Are you... Are, are you I'm prepared? totally stressed out about it. I mean, <laughs> well, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. how do they run for president? I got this. I am so thrilled and honored, by the way. Uh, so tomorrow night at the Mandarin Oriental? Correct. All yep. right, I will be there. Commissioner McGuire, again, I want to emphasize this. Uh, Robert McGuire served as Ed Koch's first police commissioner for... Six, I think years. Five, six years. Six years. And you That's were... why I'm bald, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> have, have things changed, do you, th or do you, do you think... Much as the city, the city was the Wild West when I was there. You guys were younger people, but we had we had uh, 30 uh, cops shot and killed in my six years. This is the safest large city in the world today. You know it's remarkable. Oh, and there's uh, one of your successors, Ray Kelly, uh, commissioner of the NYPD uh, for 12 years, sir. Um, the Eton Pates case. Eton Pates actually went missing when you were in That's office, correct. and. It's kind of wild that the trial, round two, starts today of Pedro Hernandez. It's, it's like a historical legacy, but it's, uh, and it's a, it was a terrible tragedy when I was there. Do you, do you remember, was Pedro Hernandez really the, the prime suspect uh, at that time? He, we, we had no suspects that were pr what we would call prime suspects. This uh, Pedro Hernandez really surfaced later. He did. He confessed uh, several years ago. They tried to have that thrown out, but it's wild that uh, back in 1979, when you were commissioner, right. the trial actually starts today. All right, Police Athletic League. I saw a face painting. I also know that you play softball, right? There's a pretty big active. So what else? Absolutely. All different kinds of sports. Football, flag football, uh, baseball, uh, soccer, all, all kinds of different. Knock hockey, climbing walls. Um, double Dutch, all the sports I'm terrible in, we have. <laughs> so, John, what are the, the problems that the police force faces right now with the community? Um, I'm sure that things must change over the years, and you must yeah. have different focuses every year. Well, it's interesting. I've been involved with the organization for about 20 years and proudly served as president for about eight years. But even during that span, 
you know, you can see the positive impact of where PAL is up and running in the community because it's bringing cops and kids together that influences the entire community from business owners to parents and everybody else. But I think, you know, when kids see cops as advisors, as advocates, you know, rooting for them versus the alternative, you know, all good things come out of that. And you that's would, what I see. You would much rather have a cop painting your face, as we have in that Absolutely. picture, than, uh, you know, throwing a pair of cups on you. All Absolutely. right. So uh, they're great people. Thank you to the Police Athletic League. John, Commissioner McGuire, thank you. Can we hear a little Kojak one more time? <laughs> <laughs> you, I, you're not going to request that tomorrow night while you're emceeing, I think you? it's a great... I, he's warming up already. <laughs> he's trying to feel out where he's going with this tomorrow night. On Netflix, you can watch Kojak. Uh, they've got every episode all the seasons. You can sit down and waste a weekend watching them back to back to back to back. <laughs> all right, thank you. What's your favorite cop show? Uh, Blue Bloods. Blue Bloods. Oh, with uh, Tom Selleck Tom as Selleck. the commissioner. Yeah, Very good. good. Right. John, John, how about, you're an ad man. I'm going to ask you, do you like Mad Men? I like CSI and back in the day, NYPD Blue. I think that was really the that set the bar for me. And with advertising, I mean, uh, they don't drink like that, right? Mad Men? Oh, heavens no. I mean, we'd all be Heavens dead. no. <laughs> heavens <laughs> no. <laughs> Us? <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, Thank good you, luck Greg. to you. Piece of cake. Uh, <laughs>